Kirkus. I'm from Team Fade Gear and Dynamic Discs, and I'm going to tell you what is in my bag. Um, for my go-to drivers, I throw um, high 160s trespasses. They definitely go the farthest for me. Um, what I usually use them for is distance and for S curves. Whenever I need to get around a tree or anything like that, I can trust that this disc will come back. I have one that's a little heavier than the other. Um, so when there's a tad bit of headwind or I just need to do kind of a long hyzer, I will use these two discs. Um, for my, I have about three discs for really overstable shots. The first one is a enforcer, is an enforcer. Um, I just use it for big hyzers. Um, if I don't need the disc to go very far, but I do need it to go pretty high and hyzer back in, I can definitely count on the enforcer to come back. Um, the same thing, I kind of use the stiletto for the same thing, but I would use this more for a forehand shot because I can trust that it'll come back no matter how much Anheuser or snap I put onto the disc. I can trust the stiletto to come back. My stilettos are about heavy 160s. Most of my drivers will be um, around that weight. Um, but these are kind of used for the same thing. I would say the stiletto goes a bit further for me. Um, I also have one halo. I don't use this disc very much. Um, it will do the same thing as my trespass, but doesn't go as far. Um, this disc, usually if I'm feeling this one, then I'll throw it. The only reason I have this disc in my bag is if I feel my trespasses and I'm just not getting the right grips that I need, that I'm, you know, that I'm feeling, I will just go to my halo and I know that I, it will do the same thing. Um, but I only have one of these. I rarely use it, but I keep it in my bag just in case. For my Anheuser shots, I throw diamonds. Um, I usually throw maybe heavy 160s. They um, always turn over for me no matter what. I can pop it out on a hyzer no matter how much, and if I put just enough power onto it, I know that it'll go straight and turn over. Um, I keep one as a backup in my bag because um, you never know when you're gonna lose them. But this is definitely one of my favorite discs. It's so consistent. I can always trust it to uh, Anheuser exactly where I need it to go. Another driver in my bag is the VIP Air Giant. I actually just added it in my bag a day or two ago. Um, I use this for, if there's a really strong headwind and I need a disc to come back that will actually go like a decent, like a good distance, I can trust this guy. These two would not go as far as this one, but this has the same stability and goes really far for me and just can handle the wind really well. And that's kind of what I need it to do. Um, I also have a river in my bag, a gold line river. This is kind of my fairway driver. Um, it's a little flippy, so if there's any wind, I really don't use it that much. I know that I can pop it out on a bit of a hyzer and it'll flip up, go straight, and do a nice S for me. It goes pretty far, not as far as my trespasses, but it's very consistent and I trust this disc a lot. And my final driver is, a, is an Opto Villain. Um, I actually just lost my favorite Opto Villain in the lake yesterday. That was not good, but I picked up another one at the shop. Um, this disc, it's a pretty stable disc. Um, I would say it would be between my like Trespasses and the Stiletto and Giant. Um, if there's a strong enough headwind to where I can't trust my trespasses to go at, like the maximum distance I needed to, but I know that my stiletto and my enforcer is going to hyzer out too soon, I will use this disc. This is a very consistent disc. Um, it goes pretty far for me as long as I, you know, put enough snap and, you know, power into it. Um, it'll do pretty great. If I do need a sort of far forehand throw and that I know that my stiletto won't reach, I will definitely use this disc. I can trust it to come back while giving me some of that distance that the stiletto does not provide for me. Um, on to my mid-ranges. For my straight mid-range, I have a Truth. Um, this goes pretty, pretty straight for me. It's a little bit of flippy at some times, but I can trust it to go where exactly where I need it to go. Um, this, I don't use this very much because typically, personally, I like to go hyzer or anhyzer to a basket. I'm not too confident in my straight at it, like going straight at it. That's definitely something I need to work on, but um, this disc goes pretty dang straight. Um, it's very consistent and I love it. And um, yeah, it's, it's a great disc.
Um, for my like hyzer up shots, I have Vertex. Um, they consistently go from right to left. I can definitely count on it to not flip over, to come back exactly when I need it to. And I just love the, uh, the grip on it. I love the way it feels. And I, I, this is my favorite disc in my bag. I can trust this disc to do whatever I need it to. Um, I'll even use it on some forehand up shots that I know that my stiletto will be, go too far for it. I, um, I use my Vertex to uh, get me there. And these are so consistent wherever, wherever I throw it, I know it'll hyzer back no matter what. And they go, they're stable, but they can still go far. It's not one of those crazy mid ranges that you can't get any distance on it. These, two, these discs, um, they're perfect. They do exactly what I needed to, and they're so predictable. Um, for my Anheuser shots, I use a Tersis. Um, I kind of just added it in my bag a few days ago. Um, whenever I need to do an Anheuser shot that's too like close for the diamond, I'll just use this guy. I'll just pop it out there on a little bit of an Anheuser, and I trust that it'll fade and go right, you know, right where I need it. But typically for upshots, I don't like Anheuser upshots, so I'll try to use my forehand. But if it's really necessary that I need to do an Anheuser, then I'll use my tools. Um, for my maybe 150 and in, I'll use my um, my Pure. Um, it does not go as far as my Vertex or my Tersis or my Truth, but this thing will go ex exactly where I want it to go. Just as long as I keep my wrist flat, it'll go straight forever. Um, this disc is so consistent and um, I can, when I use my fan grip, it doesn't go as far, but it's accurate. And then when I switch over to this grip, it'll go way far. And um, I really like its consistency and I can really trust this disc. Um, for a long time, I was having trouble finding a disc that would do what this disc did because I would have my regular putters and I would flip them over too much or it would go too short. But then I would try my truth or my verdict and it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So I put, I tried this out um, one day and it was doing exactly what I wanted to. It goes so straight and it's so predictable and I love this disc. And finally, I have two Eric McCabe putters. Um, they are judges. They're max weight, I think, like 170, high 170s. Um, I pretty much, I put with this when it has Eric McCabe's signature on it, because I have two of them and they look the exact same. So I had to get a signature because I kept looking at the rim and having to decide, oh, is this my putter one or is this not my putter one? But I use this one as my putter shot. Um, I learned that you should not use your putter as your upshot putter at the same time because if you're using your putter as an upshot disc and you're hitting trees or you're hitting bushes, whatever, it messes up the disc. And so when you're putting, the flight of the putter will be inconsistent. So I use this for strictly putting. Um, this I'll probably use if, if um, where did I put it? If this guy is too far for it, but it's not close enough to be a putt. So this is kind of what I use for in between these two. Um, and yeah, these putters are great. They're stable, which was what I like. Um, and they're consistent and I love, I like the harder plastic. So uh, this is definitely one of my favorite discs. Um, and then I have this mini <laughs> that I got at the Kansas City Wide Open last year. Um, I toured last summer and that was my first kind of mini tour and I toured with Eric McCabe. And this was my first stop on my tour at the Kansas City Wide Open. I placed really well, I had a great time and it just gives me those you know, good memories of that summer and going back to Kansas City which has the best courses in the world. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, that's what's in my bag.